Hey, what's going on, you guys? My name is Polo, and today I am checking out a new band. This is Pink Floyd, Comfortably Numb. All right, I said new band, but I'm pretty sure it's probably super old to you guys. And you want to know something else that's embarrassing? I first heard the name Pink Floyd around the year 2000, and I thought it was like a younger band. I didn't know that it was an, <laughs> an older band, um, but I never got into the music. I was like, Pink Floyd, that's a cool name for a band. You know, I, I remember thinking that to myself, but that's about as far as I went with it. All right. So I, I was looking up the message to this uh, song, the meaning behind the song, and it's kind of hard to get a really good interpretation on it because there's so many different ways the song can be um uh, can be interpreted. <laughs> and uh, this, what I got from it is basically it's about someone who's in a lot of pain and they're given medication to numb the pain, but it doesn't make them happy. Okay. Based off an experience that the uh, lead singer had on stage where he was given uh, medication that had his hands feeling so numb that uh, he couldn't concentrate. He couldn't focus. And the uh, the crowd didn't even care. They were so in tune with the music, uh, whatnot. So uh, uh, that's sort of what I got from after reading a few articles on the track. I like to do a little bit of research on the song. That way it gives a little bit of context to... Um, uh, to the listening experience, at least for me, especially when it comes to like metal and rock, you know, because not all of it is very like easily digestible. Some of it has a lot of different hidden meanings in it. So and this is one of those I, I'm pretty sure you guys will clear up for me in the comments. Uh, but again, this will be my first listen. And I was told that I haven't lived until I heard the guitar solo on this. By the way, I read the lyrics. I will not cry during the video. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not, I'm not going to cry during movies. I'm not a crier, okay? You believe me? All right, let's, let's, go, let's go ahead and get into it. First impression, I can only imagine uh, what the the studio version sounds like, all right? Because just from the live performance, I can feel the sadness in the song. Uh, I can feel the tempo. I can feel where they're going and the, and the, and the way he's singing here. I can feel that it's one of those, um, the type of songs you listen to, especially if you're going through depression or something like that. Uh, that you would really play. I'm not saying that the that the live performance is bad, but just based off, um, you know, sometimes in the in the in the, in the studio versions, the bass uh, you can hear it a lot stronger. You know, uh, at least from what I'm getting. Remember this verse, reading this verse, and basically he was saying his hands felt like two balloons and he was playing on stage and he could not feel the guitar. But the, the band just I mean, the, the crowd just didn't care. They loved them so much. They were just in the moment. Um, and he said he just he didn't feel any pain when he was playing because he was, he was feeling pain in his hands prior uh, to taking medication uh, before getting on stage. And uh 
and he just couldn't feel anything. <laughs> All right. So um, I, I, that's coming back to me. Let's get it going. Now I've got that feeling once again. I can't explain. You will not understand. This is not want to say i love that solo <laughs> that was beautifully done and i'm i'm, I'm feeling the track i'm getting the goosebumps uh the what you call it <laughs> goosebumps all over my arms here and especially the chorus it's a powerful track A setup the lighting and the this whatever wherever they did this at this was very beautiful beautifully done um i'm just looking at how nice the stage looks can you stand up i do believe this work good that'll keep you going through the show come on it's time to go there is This reminds me, and forgive me, this is like Coldplay meets rock, okay? <laughs> Don't kill me in the comments, but that's the vibe I get from this track because I like uh, the band Coldplay, and then, but this feels, you know, more rock, you know, so I'm loving it so far. Your lips move, but I can't hear what you say. Where was this song when I was going through depression? You know, like, um, I'm not depressed now, but I think if you, you know, I think everyone has experienced depression at some point in their life. And for me, depression has always been, uh, music has always been my remedy. I didn't use like drugs or alcohol. Uh, it's always been something like, for some reason, if I'm going through depression, listening to incredibly sad music makes me feel better in a weird way. Okay. So that's how I always dealt with it. So something like this, would have definitely been in my playlist and will be in my playlist uh, um, going forward. Okay, absolutely love this track. This is very, very beautiful.
listen, the drummer knew I was in for it. The smile the whole time I did I was not expecting this. I knew it was gonna be a good solo because I read a few things about that it was an incredible solo. But that man channeled his inner God, <laughs> his inner God to play that that solo. That's one of the the most amazing solos I've ever seen ever. OK, that was absolutely phenomenal. All right. Wow. Yeah, they had to end it with that because I don't know how you continue with the song after that solo. Typically, the solo's like in the middle of the song. Yeah, that had to. There's no. There's no following that. Wow, <laughs> I didn't watch the video prior, as you guys know. So um, sometimes I'm just like I get really lost into it, and it, that was just an amazing performance. I absolutely loved it. Uh, wow, is that their best song? <laughs> <laughs> that was that was dope uh uh shout out to the uh, uh donation request to check this out oh man I, I feel guilty for even being uh uh paid to listen to that <laughs> uh but uh, uh i appreciate it that was absolutely dope i will be listening to this a few more times pink floyd wow okay that's i'm still recovering from that from that solo that solo was amazing uh but the song itself absolutely beautiful i can't wait to hear the studio version of it but there's something about a live performance that does it for me uh, but it's going to be interesting to bounce back between the two i might even do a reaction video of it or i might just listen to it on my own i haven't decided but i will be checking this out a little bit more all right guys um Hope you liked the video. If you liked it, don't forget to like, to subscribe. If you want me to check out more from this band, uh, don't forget to check out my links below to uh, uh, support the page. Patreon re uh, request as well on there. I get a lot of my reaction requests from my Patreon. All right, that should do it. You guys have a great day. Peace. Yeah! Look what I have created!